Hi there! Let's continue to optimize today's mask. In this video, I will set up my preference settings. Go to Customize, Preferences. In the General panel, let's set the number of operations you can undo to 100. I will also make sure that using real world texture coordinate is off. Next, the Files panel. Turn off back on Save. If it is turned on, the existing file is renamed maxpack.pack and place in the autopack directory folder before the save. I didn't find in my case it's really useful. Next, increment on save. Depends on your preference. This will create a new copy of the file in the same directory whenever you save the file. The name of it, the new files is incremented by one, for example, file name 01 file name 02, and so on. I prefer to turn it off and control the number of the copy manually. Next, ensure that compress and save is turned on if it's really important. During the saving, the 3 ds Max file will be compressed. For large files, it's a really impressive amount of the compression. It will save a lot of space in your drive, but you will also save a lot of time as the large file will be saved and open longer. I don't need to file property, so I will turn it off. I leave the rest as default. Next, I will increase the number of after backup files to 10, for example. I also let increase the backup interval to 10-20 minutes, as saving the file every 5 minutes can be a bit annoyable and not productive. But be careful and choose the time is depending on the speed of your work. If multiple people are working together on one project, I recommend that you change the auto backup file name and edit your name or initial in the end. This way everyone will know whose backup it is. Anything else you can leave as default. However, let me quickly show you one more changes that you can make. Let's create the boxes. Can you see this highlight when I move the mouse closer or when I select an object? If you don't like this preview selection highlights effect, you can easily customize in the report panel. Let's go back. I will only leave preview highlights. So, it's everything that I want to change inside of the preference setting at this moment. If you want to read more detail about each parameter, I will leave the link on the details description of each of them in the description below. And you can decide more deeply what else you also want to use. For me, that's all. Next video, I will talk about the layers and we create some basic structure of the layers that you can use of each project as a template. So like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. See you soon.